Join me today as we go into one of the highest quality RVs that I have ever had the pleasure of touring. All that and more in today's episode. I'm super excited today because we are going to go into a van that I have been tracking for about a year but have not ever been able to find a van anywhere that I was actually able to see in person. But I found one recently and I hopped in the mobile studio. I drove two hours to go see it and do this video tour for you. And before we jump into the review, just real quick, please consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button, click the little bell, and you'll be notified whenever I do cool RV reviews like today's. And believe me, you're going to want to be notified because this RV is really special. The Day Cruiser 144 is built on the short Sprinter, so it's the exact same size as my Ascent back there. It's 19 feet 7 inches. But this little van can carry eight passengers inside of it, and it still manages to fit a bathroom, a kitchen, and a bed. So join me without further ado as we go inside the Day Cruiser 144 by Midwest Automotive Designs. And when we come back, I'm going to give you my thoughts on this super high quality, super interesting RV. Now this is riding in luxury. I am sitting inside a very hard to find 2018 Midwest Vans Day Cruiser 144. So Midwest Vans is a manufacturer out of Elkhart, Indiana, and they do custom builds, <clears throat> but they've recently gotten into the Class B market. And this is one of several Class B vans that they make. They make the longer wheelbase 170 inch wheelbase day cruiser which is very similar to this but it's three feet longer and they decided to do the 144 inch wheelbase which is this one because of the advantages you get from a smaller wheelbase vehicle in terms of parking this in cities and so this is the result of that and i have not really been able to find any of these at all. They're very rare, very hard to find, but they had this one and I wanted to come as soon as I saw that they had it and take a look at it. But take a look at this interior. It is exceptional with the hand polished, uh, high lacquer, high gloss, burl wood cabinetry, the Maybach style seating, the large 28 inch screen in front of you. This is an incredible coach. It's also got ducted heating and air conditioning in here for the coach part. And uh, the big thing about this van is it can seat eight people, two in the front, two in these additional captain's chairs, and then these jump seats each have seat belts on each side for two. So this is truly a passenger van, and you can definitely travel in comfort in this van, as you can see. Absolutely beautiful. Now, it does have as well it does have a bed so these two jump seats very easily pull out into beds you just pull this out this comes down you do the other side and then you can sleep laterally here it is a small bed it is but nonetheless you are able to sleep inside of this unit it looks like this van has multiplex wiring controls as you can see down there and you have all of your control center here for the television and radio and everything in the back seat all the controls are located here for this captain's chair over here so each of these seats the two captain seat in the front and these captain seats in the back have massage controls so they're heated and they have massage controls really nice really high-end luxurious this is this could definitely be my new mobile office i think uh, in terms of just the quality uh, and fit and finish now in the back here behind this giant wall of burled wood is the bathroom and a little galley. They have a sink and a refrigerator and a microwave in the back. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. 
very nice action on these cabinet doors. They have a very nice feel, nice hinges, integrated door stays into the hinges and they're positive latching. The insides here are lined with ultra leather on the insides, which is nice. Very nice. They're not terribly deep, but uh, this is this coach is built more as a touring van than it is as a RV. Let's take a look now in the back. You're now in the between the two jump seats in the midsection of the van. And so there are two seat belts on each side for, for a total of four people can sit back there. And then in addition, each one of those jump seats, very easy to do. You can see the little pull tabs at the bottom. You just pull them and they mechanically will just come together. And then you've got a bed back there. You sleep laterally and it, it would be a little bit tight, but it is a bed. And so I would think that this coach is more akin to being a touring coach than it is an RV. One of the things, if you notice, the windows are beautiful, but they don't open. There's no opening windows in the coach part. The two front windows, of course, open. Also no roof vent, if you notice here. The only vent is in, is in the bathroom to exhaust the bathroom. As well, where you're at right now, I would have expected to see a table, and maybe you can get that. I did not see that listed on their site as an option, but it would be nice if you could have gotten a table to sit back there as well. Now on the roof, very clean on the outside and on the roof, there are no solar panels. So you can get the lithium power option, lithium battery option on this coach, but there is no solar panels to recharge the batteries, which is also unfortunate. While we do have ducted air conditioning and ducted heating, and it's controlled, uh, they have a second air conditioning unit, evaporator, condenser, and compressor in the engine compartment, it only works when the engine's on. So again, if you're trying to RV, you don't have your own coach air conditioner back here. So these are just things you'd need to consider. But man, am I really liking the unique layout and style of this Day Cruiser 144. I just, I applaud Midwest for thinking outside of the box. Uh, it, it's, it's a very different market. Now, if they could fix some of those things in terms of putting windows in that open, putting maybe a, a solar panels on the roof, some type of vent here in the ceiling, just so you can get cross air circulation, put a heater in and a table there, they have something that is really, really unique. It would be a product, I think, that would be better suited for touring, but you could definitely then use it as an RV. And let's face it, the more uses you can have for these RVs, the better. Back in the bathroom area of the RV, and you can see you have the toilet on one side, you have your little vent above, and then you have your Dometic, looks like a compressor refrigerator down here and then you have your microwave oven above, and then you have your marine style sink here. So some people have a problem with the fact that your bathroom is located in where your galley is. I don't have so much of a problem with it. One thing they could have done is they could have switched the opening of the door so the door opened on the other side over here and kind of blocked off the bathroom while you're standing in here. But it is a big bathroom. There is no shower in this bathroom though. So it's strictly just a bathroom, but there is ventilated heating, which is nice. Up in the cab of the Day Cruiser 144 by Midwest Automotive. And you see there's a couple extra controls. One's up here. This is to control the secondary compressor, evaporator, uh, and HVAC control system for the coach in the back. And then you can see there is an inverter down here. So I don't know if you can see it under the steering wheel. There's an inverter and then you have your battery disconnect switch all located up front. It does look like they have kind of that faux wood covering over the uh, applique, over the dash, the wood. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that, but the nice thing is they're one of the few manufacturers that's actually matching that with the wood in the coach. So it's, it's a more seamless look inside of the coach, which is nice. I wish more manufacturers would do that. For instance, I wish that Airstream would do that on their interstate models. Down below, you see the two, the addition of the two cup holders and a little storage cubby down below for your phone, which is nice as well, because in general, the Sprinters have a little bit of a problem with cup holders up in the cab area. They're a little bit small or they're hidden away. So it's nice seeing those there. 
And of course, you've got the recovered kind of Maybox seating, leather Maybox seating inside of the inside of the cab seats as well, which is really nice. Your large 28 inch screen is right above you. Uh, and it's nice, but I prefer having it where it's open and I don't have to duck when I come into the cab. But having that huge screen in the back for all the passengers when you're seated back here to be watching something, that is pretty cool, I gotta say. That's really nice. So overall, I mean, I'm really impressed with the innovation that Midwest Automotive has put behind this Day Cruiser 144. I, I, it's different. It's different than anything else that you would see on the market. This could be a very interesting floor plan layout for some people, especially if you have kids or children or you need to be using your RV more for uh, taking people around. So thumbs up to them. I think this is, this is pretty cool and I hope they keep innovating on this front. What did you think of the Day Cruiser 144? I mean, for my part, I gotta tell you, when I first opened that door and stepped inside of it, I was blown away by the quality. You could just tell and feel the quality of that van. When I shut the door, the, the, the sound, the deadening of the sound, it just felt like you were in a private jet. And I've flown in a private jet, so I know what they feel like. This van was really, really nice. The seats, everything, it looked like you were inside of a Maybach, is what it looked like to me. Now, technically speaking, this is an RV because it satisfies the three basic requirements of an RV. There is a bed in it, the two jump seats in the back, fold down jackknife into a bed. There is a bath at the back and there is a kitchen. You got a microwave in your sink and a refrigerator. So this is an RV by the RVIA's definition of an RV. Now I wanna set your expectations up front about this. This is not the type of van that you're gonna take out camping and going camping all the time in. It's capable of that, but because it doesn't have awning style windows and, and ventilation and things like that, and there's no real table that you can eat at, it's not ideally suited for that. But that's not why I'm excited about this van. Why I'm excited about this van is because Midwest Automotive is listening to the changing buyer needs in the market. And they're not just building the same type of van and the same type of floor plan that we all of us have seen a lot of. Midwest Automotive is coming up with new designs to meet the ever-changing needs of new buyers and mobility. And after all, that's what my channel Ultra Mobility is about. It's new ways of becoming mobile in today's lifestyle. It's not anymore about packing your kids into a minivan or an SUV. It's about traveling in something that's about the same size like that, but doing it at a whole nother level. And boy, does the Day Cruiser 144 take it to a whole nother level. I have never experienced quality in a van like I did in the Day Cruiser 144. Everything from the hand polished burl wood to the leather to the sound deadening they put into it, I'm told that they use two different types of insulation in all of their vans, but in the Day Cruiser in particular. They use the standard residential style insulation that, you, that you'll find in homes, but they also use and this is incredible, the sound deadening insulation that you find in professional recording studios. So they do that because it helps keep the road noise down on the inside of the van as you're traveling down the road. Now, just for that reason alone, I'm going to have to do a future episode where I actually go on a test drive in the Day Cruiser 144, because if that's the case, they really have taken traveling to another level. This van, I went across the country in it, uh, close to 2,500 miles in it, and it was very comfortable. I didn't have a problem with it. To go across the country in something like the Day Cruiser 144, I am certain would take it to another level entirely. Uh, there'd just be less fatigue, less road noise. Your ability to enjoy your trip would be much higher in the Day Cruiser 144. So my final recommendation to you is this. If you're that buyer 
who is looking for a van that size, right, that you can park in a city, you can park anywhere like I can park my van, but you want to be able to carry eight passengers seat belted, and you still want to have RV conveniences like a bed and a sink and your own bathroom, you need to look at the Day Cruiser 144 by Midwest Automotive Designs because it's the only van on the market that I know of that meets all of those requirements. It's built on the short sprinter platform, it can carry eight passenger seat belted, and it's got all the RV conveniences that I've got inside of my van. Also, if you're a buyer who is a premium buyer, remember I talk about that in one of my videos, so if you know you're a premium buyer, you owe it to yourself to take a look at some of the other products from Midwest Automotive Designs. They do make other products other than the Day Cruiser 144. Some of them are built on the longer Sprinter wheelbase, so they're three, four, even five feet longer, giving you much more living space on the inside. And some of them have the things, are much more suitable for camping because they have the things like the awning style windows and the rooftop air conditioning and a separate heater and a table in the back and things like that. So if you know that you're a premium buyer, you deserve and you need to look at a Midwest Automotive Designs product van because they are, in my book, from what I've seen so far, they're at the top of the list in terms of quality, build quality, fit and finish. They really are. They're incredible. So thumbs up to Midwest Automotive Design for building A, such a quality product, and B, addressing the needs of a different type of buyer in our ever-changing RV world. Well, that wraps it up for this week on the Day Cruiser 144, a van that I really, really like and I'm really excited to do a more in-depth test drive on. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Just hit the little subscribe button, click the little bell, ding, 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 and you'll be notified as soon as I release new videos like this. We'll see you again next week with a brand new episode. Take care. Bye-bye.